Hey guys, Mark here. In this video I'll introduce you to word and phrase density calculations in Chimp Rewriter. All the density features are available within this tab here, so click the tab, press the little pin at the top there, will cause the tab to stay open. So to manually calculate density, I'll just click this button. So what that's done is worked out how many times the word pension, fund, retirement and so on can be found within the article and has calculated density based on that. It will also look for phrases of two or more words and it will calculate the density for those phrases if they appear more than twice in the article as well. We can auto calculate density by pressing this button here. So with that in, as I type, it will update automatically the densities of the words. Just deselect to disable auto density calculations. If we click here, calculate LSI, that will give us additional information about the density. So here it says the word pension was found 12 times. Its density is 0.64%. So pension constitutes 0.64% of the entire article. And here it's calculated that LSI, which is a latent semantic index, of the word pension is fairly high. Now what that means is the article is about a pension. So the higher the LSI, the more relevant the article is to that term. So if we sort by LSI, so we can click here to sort, so this is descending sort, and then we'll go ascending to click again. Uh, ignore the phrases, come down here, and we see the highest LSIs are pension, retirement, fund. So this article is about a pension retirement fund. We can copy this table to the clipboard, the so copy, and then we can paste that into Excel or Word or whatever to manipulate the findings. Final feature of density is the ability to filter. So we can type in here pension and let's say fund and we turn the filter on. So that'll only return phrases or words that match that filter. So notice I've got two filters there, fund and pension, and I've got a comma separating the two. As a final little side feature, uh, you can double click any of the words or phrases and that'll open that word or phrase inside the replace editor and we can replace that with a new phrase or term.